He's, he's see Skylar over there. So he's, he's, no, he's, he hasn't seen Skylar before. I'm gonna be ready though. I'm gonna be ready. Watch. Casper! <laughs> So if you said, what did you do? I hope he was in the shot. I, I just turned him away from that dog with the pager. Casper! Honestly, ah! Ah! That was Casper. That was Casper. <laughs> oh no, he's already picking up the dumbbell. Uh, yeah, my hash, I hate to say it, but you guys kind of got yourself a jumping dog because it just, and people don't realize it, they, they inadvertently reinforce it, that everybody is great at training a dog to jump, I'm just going to tell you that, everybody's good at it, they're all great at it because they all do it, so what this dog does, I've noticed, is if you have your back turned, he jumps on you. There's only so much you can do, though, you guys. I'm telling you, you've got to weigh your options. the dumbbell and dropped it so I was just getting him to pick it up but you do want to set that precedent anyway what I've got and what we need to invent maybe I should make an invented line of training equipment since I think everyone has the wrong equipment I couldn't find that pink leash but I'm just gonna use this because if you said what to you is the ideal leash the least amount of a snap if you have a heavy snap and a heavy leash especially these ones that are heavily braided and there's a lot of material you don't want any weight I can just tell you that right now you want as little weight as possible and I'm gonna just tell you this is a very very soft temperament puppy he was running and a stick like kind of got you know the stick kind of like flipped and hit him and you know, to him, that was a big correction. He's looking around. You know, you've got to make notes about stuff like that. I see that it's a very soft temperament puppy. I want to exploit that, not, you know, by making it a more soft puppy, not understanding that it's it can't handle corrections. And it, nor should it have to, because if it doesn't, you can't correct things when he's in the mood. So, all right, I'm just going to get the leash on. And, and honestly, I'm, I'd probably be better to do it like this. Because he is pretty equipment neutral. I can take the collar on and off without him doing a big... So, this is going to give me a leash with absolutely no weight whatsoever on my strap. It's also going to be hard to take on and off, but... That's not what I'm worried about right this second. All right, I'm going to wait till he defaults to the down. Skylar didn't just cock his leg on that thing. He's awful. He's going back in the house. I haven't let him out for like two weeks. All right, so. He'd go off after Molly's over scraping her butt. She's awful. So I just want to get the collar on, honestly, as seamlessly as possible. Because if it's hard to get it on a puppy, There. I can just tell you there's lots of big dogs that the people have a hard time getting the collar on because the dog just struggles around and gets too excited. The collar represents the wrong thing. All right, so we just want to do a little bit of our healing. Yay. And I'm right on that pager. I'm, I'm definitely making it a pager leash. I'm not saying, let me wait and see what he does and I'll use a pager. 
I'm going to activate the pager to get it moving in my direction. Can't ask her. All right, let's switch over the range. So my job is to kind of keep precious little fancy. So I'm just doing the pager right there in the turn. down on the leash for her so that when you stop, he'll just lay down. You've seen it in the videos. Janet, I don't know if you're there, Janet, but this dog will do the same thing. It tries to kind of suck onto the other side a little bit. Only right there, though. But your job is just to get in there and understand if it speeds up, that's not going to happen. So I haven't jerked on the leash at all, but he understands, you know, that I can move him with it. All right, so I need to get my leash back off, though, so I'm just going to take my whole collar. You know, and you want it to be that seamless. You're putting it on, you're taking it off, and that's pretty, you know, you have to have trust in somebody. Oh, okay, JC. Uh, get that dumbbells out and start... Just, you need to get the platform you need to do. And I always talk about not being the stationary handler, but for that, there is. I think you have to be, you have to be both types of handler to the dog. You have to be the stationary handler sometimes, and you have to be not the turtle. You've got to have at least somehow giving the impression, you know, that if it said to the other dog, how fast is she? Yeah, she's pretty fast. I've seen her do some stuff. She's pretty fast. All right, let me go some the quick. All right, so I still have the collar off. I got to get it back on. I just, I do think the platform is good for that too. I, I'm never going to do the place again. It's, it, it's been done to death. It's been done to death. And it's, this is more of a launching pad. The place is more of a timeout type of situation. And, you know, you're better off to just install, you know, the timeout or the down as a default. this thing. It's this thing. It doesn't go in there like... Ah, he's humoring me, though. He's being very tolerant. Okay. So, I can just still do... You know, he's not saying to himself, leash gone, she got nothing, she was correcting me, she was jerking me, I didn't like it, I hate her now. He's not saying that. 
Got the same behavior. So I, I'm slowing down on that turn. You just have to think of it like the barrel horse. There's got to be a barrel for the horse to run around. Oh, there's the barrel. And I can just do it from this way, too. There's the barrel. Oh, he wants to get back on the platform. I just need to be able to help the dog understand that I can move you with the pager. You know, and I'm, I'm speeding up. I'm always adding that little bit of extra gear into one. And once you slow them down, so watch, I'm going. Speeding them up to there, speeding them up to there. You know, if you don't have, if you said, well, I can use a choke chain and a prong to speed them up. No, that doesn't work. No, that makes them go slower. The second that snap comes up in front of their face, yeah, it's, they're slow. All right, so he's getting up on the platform on his own. a good distraction too because she's her eyes her eyes her eyes are so buggy Yee. i'm just creating a behavior though i'm not correcting anything you know i think if you if you don't have that ability to move them around you're going to be screwed pretty quick and he'll start defaulting to the down on his own. You know, they, they've only got, yay! They've only got a certain repertoire of tricks. That's the problem. That's why I say, tell people, don't teach them to shake. Hi, Joe. Oh, I was just talking about you. There's this organization called the IACP. They're awful. They're awful. And I said, Jill can take this dog and train it in one day to do that. These people don't even do, yeah, they don't even teach the people in that thing how to do it. I said, this girl does it in one day. I said, I said, I told her you can do it one day. I said, and the next day she sent me a video. <coughs> You've got to get the dumbbells for Wilson. Oh, I'm sure you already ordered them. All right, hang on. So I will just make it a little bit farther, but I want to make it a little, you know, and you've got to assess, you know, if the dog doesn't have any interest it's not gonna go so just don't even bother there's that one video or that commercial like, Yay! <laughs> you know I got okay oh he's going backwards he's like, yay yay he didn't even have to get paid oh my goodness yay yay can I get some yay oh he's one of the best he's one of the best yay you know you've got it all going on he doesn't think that has anything to oh With me touching him, I just tell him, and then he's almost going around the cone. All right, and then he'll probably lay back down. That's what you have to understand. They've only got certain behaviors. They, they jump up, they lay down, they sit, you know. There's only so many things they can do. They don't balance on one paw or anything. Yay. I'll tell you what's bothering him, this little freak show. All right, guys, so that, and you see, yesterday I did electronic check cording. I've got all kinds of dog coming at me. If these dogs are looking around, looking for anything but you, and you're having to correct them to stay with you, honestly, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. That's what, that's what people don't realize. That's why they had to invent electric collars. The more we correct them, the more once they get loose, they seem to get away from us. You know, you've got to have as much... You know, it's, it's just like with the training the dogs. There's some people like us. That's all we do all day long. That's all we care about. That's all we're interested in. Oh, your your their your dumbbells will be there next week. Oh, how absolutely perfect. Okay, so yes, I'll show you some little, you know, and with this dog. I 
those footstools sort of represent. That's kind of a precursor. Like I'm going over here. He doesn't know. Oh, th and that's what you have to remember about dogs. They understand they don't know a lot of what we're doing. You know, but he understands that's a precursor. So you need some kind of little cones or something, you see, because and then, then he gravitates back towards the cones. So, you know, then if you said, well, what could you do? That? Well, then that's how you could get it farther away. Again, it's all very ritualistic. Oh, it's moving the things. It's, it's. And uh, Christy, if you're there, that's the big dumbbell too. He's playing with the big boy dumbbells now. So I just added a couple feet, but you know, the cones, as they call them in the world of professional dog training. Oh, let me use the professional bingo too. We call those coins, or cones, not footstools. <laughs> not cheap plastic footstools, those are cones. So anyway, get something like that, and if you got something white as a marker, and then just put the things by it, and then stare at the thing, and you know, they figure it out. I guess I'll be right back with Luke. Yeah, no, girl. I, you know, this is what Mike said to me yesterday. Does anybody watch or take notes in these videos? I said, that one girl, Jill. <laughs> yeah, I did. So I said, that one girl does. All right, I'll be right back.